Hi guys, everybody. Today, well, I'm just about to get ready because I'm going on ice, but I had some uh, requests and questions asking about protective gear. So I promise I'm gonna share what I actually have in my skating bag. And that will be my skates. The first item I have here I wanna show you today is the knee pads I am using. They're right here. They are fairly thin, oops, like this. Um, I was using before volleyball ones, but they were a lot more thicker. But actually I bought this one for figure skating because there is a hole right under your knee. So when you kind of bend your knees, you have more feeling what you are doing. The next one I'm gonna be laughing. When my daughter is not skating, I steal her elbow pads. Yay, they work for me. I'm kind of small, you know, I'm bony. And uh, when I fall on my elbows, it heals for a long time and I can kind of rest my arms when I'm editing photos on a computer. So here's a small, uh, I guess it's from the hockey set. It's a medium, you know, elbow pads. Work for me. Unfortunately, when she's skating, I gotta give it to her, but that's okay because I'm not doing any figure skating. I just, I'm with her on ice. Third item I have, and I really tried it out yesterday when I was shooting the duck or trying to shoot the duck and I was falling a lot on my butt and I gotta say it was like falling in a, in a pillow are these padded shorts love them I'm gonna be posting all the links to the stores where I got it from um, under this video so you can see these shorts you know the tailbone protection is right here I'm very bony in the front here so I love those so my you know my hips everywhere your pelvis, wherever you look, it's just padded everywhere, love them. And they are not visible, you put them under your leggings and you know, nobody can really see it as well. And now when it comes to helmet, well first I was just using a hockey helmet, but it was always giving me headache and was pressing me here, this is a large size. My head is very big, because my family already knows I'm very hard. So this was not good enough for me. Then I pulled out my windsurfing helmet, that was a lot better, but uh, look kind of goofy in this, but um, you know, my head was kind of sweating under and everything else, so I looked further and I found these Crash 3, best thing, I gotta say I love it, honestly. When I put it on, it's very tight, they have these little plates inside which are heavy duty. Let me just pull out one if I can. Quick, quick, quick. Oh, there we go. So these little plates are inside of this handband. They're very thick. And you just put them kind of in. The higher end goes to the back like this. And you know, like, it's, it's good. I don't, well, they say it's not as great as the helmet, but you know, it's better something than nothing. So. I'm using this. If I'm gonna be doing some bigger jumps eventually and learning them, I'll probably put for those jumps, you know, real helmet. But right now, um, I know that I'm not doing anything crazy really, so I just use this as a protection. So I guess the next step would be showing you how I really wear it. So I'm gonna start getting ready for my session and uh, I'll show you what I really wear and uh, where it works for me. Base layer is very important depending where you skate. Some of the rinks I skated are pretty cold, so I have a thermal long sleeve t shirts. And here are my shorts, which are padded as I'm showing where the padding is in the front here, on the side, on the tailbone, and on the back. I don't wear these all the time, I wear them sometimes depending what I'm gonna be doing that day. I hear knee pads, very comfortable, you can bend the knee, and these I wear pretty much most of the time. And because it is winter, I just add another layer, and it's another long sleeve t-shirt. Sometimes from a thicker material, sometimes just thin, like this one. And I'm wearing elbow pads, I'm not gonna be doing anything crazy today, but I just wanted to show you how it looks like when I actually put it on. I'm adding leggings here, and as you can see, the shorts are not really that much visible. My favorite jacket, it has fleece inside, so it is really warm. Mm. 
And here comes the Crash 3 MIDI I wear as protective gear for my head. And a pair of my favorite gloves, very thin. And you know, sometimes when you go skating at the ring, I don't know about you guys, but since uh, I skate at the empty rings, which I'm usually there alone, and maximum there are two or three people, or maybe even one, I and they don't play music for us, you know, sometimes just quiet and it's boring. So um, I found this very cool gadget on eBay and it was quite inexpensive and it's actually wireless, wireless headset. Love it. When I do spins, when I do jumps, anything I'm doing, it's not falling out. It's holding like crazy. It doesn't hurt my ears whatsoever. It's very light. So let me just put one in. The second one here. You can pair it with your phone. You put your favorite music on your phone. You can make it louder or quieter. And it works. See, when I shake my head, whatever I wanna do, it's not falling out. It's holding perfectly, very comfortable. It doesn't hurt at all. It's awesome, love it. Just want to show you one more time how these things look like. Like this, turn it around like this. Including the link description. Uh, charged it, I don't know, a month ago. Used it many times, still fully charged. Um, there's this little thing, you just kind of open it up and there's a wire, you charge it through your laptop, through USB. It's uh, highly recommend this. If there's no music in your ring, or if they play extremely bad music and you want something on your own, this is good. The only thing with this, when you are done skating, you're gonna have beautiful marks like me on the forehead, but it goes away fairly quickly. So, just, just uh, so you know.